What do you think, whenever you hear about animal welfare in the news, um, more often than not, when you hear about it, do you hear positive or negative? Negative. Negative. You all like that said negative. We hear it, we see it in the news, we see it in the social media. How often do we hear about the programs that producers put in place? That we put in place to ensure that that meat is safe, that that meat was raised humanely. Um, it's a program that we've had for many, many, many years in the livestock industry. And we always say as advocates, uh, we're our own advocates for animal welfare. We're activists. We like to say no one cares more about livestock than the people who produce them. Uh, we have the safest food supply in the world, bar none. Without question, we put more dollars to research and welfare programs than what anybody else does. How many of you have ever heard of a checkoff system? Like the beef checkoff, or the pork checkoff, or the lamb checkoff. How that program works is uh, fairly simple. This is how it works. Um, with the pork industry, for every 100 pounds of pig that is sold to market in the United States, Producers voluntarily put 40 cents into a checking account, basically. Uh, we process 125 million pigs a year in the United States. That money becomes a pretty substantial amount. The beef industry takes $1 per head sold to market, and the lamb industry takes $1 per head sold to market. We use those dollars, which equal well over $100 million combined amongst the group. We use those dollars for three primary things. Promotion, extension programs, working with producers, and animal welfare programs, research, uh, things that surround improving the well-being of livestock and ensuring a safe food supply. How many of you know the slogan for pork? The other white meat, one of the most recognized slogans in the world, very recognizable, paid for through checkoff dollars. How many of you know the uh, promotional slogan for beef? It's what's for dinner. It's what's for dinner today. That's right, that's what we sell. How many know what it is for lamb? I don't either. <laughs> I don't know what it is either. But it's very, these programs, uh, the pork producers, for example, have the Pork Quality Assurance Program. The beef producers have a program called the Beef Quality Assurance Program. These are voluntary dollars with approximately 40% of those dollars going directly to welfare programs on the farm to ensure that livestock are being raised humanely, that they're being uh, vaccinated properly, the health protocols are ensuring a safe food supply. How many of you heard of the Humane Society of the United States? HSUS. How many of you heard of PETA? PETA, right? Everybody's heard of them. And when you hear about that negative press we talked about, it's typically coming from one of those two groups, right? Whenever you look, uh, at, at animal rights groups, which is what they are. They're animal rights groups that are uh, here in the United States. Their primary focus is to do what? Is it to improve the welfare of livestock? Change somebody's mind? Make them not want to eat meat? Make them uh, think that uh, livestock is all about factory farming and that we do all these things on the farm uh, to treat livestock inhumanely. How many are farmers? How many of you know a livestock producer that treats his animals badly? Well, it makes great. no sense, does it? Uh, you know, HSUS has been in the news here recently. Their annual financial statements came out for 2009. Okay, they have over a $120 or $30 million budget. How much of that budget do you think they spent directly on welfare programs for, uh, they primarily go after cats and dogs, uh, humane shelters? How many how much? One half of one percent. And so they've been in the news uh, where groups, you heard Yellowtail Wine was in the news with the HSUS, because they get them confused with the real humane society you know, that, that works to adopt pets and work with programs. But you know what happens is, we talked about that in the media, if enough people hear it, it must be true. If enough people hear it, it must be true. You know where they affect us the most? At the legislative level. This goes up the chain, and it ends up in Washington, D.C. It builds like the Horse Slaughter Act, um, uh, acts to, pro to protect livestock. We have acts to protect livestock. Livestock producers have been doing it for hundreds of years. And we insure voluntary dollars 
Uh, if you know anybody in the livestock industry, you know that the last two years have not been pretty. Uh, the pork industry has been at the, at the lowest it's ever been in history. The beef industry has been extremely low. Uh, but yet they still continue to put those dollars into welfare programs because they see the importance in raising safe, humanely raised livestock.